Um, so today I'm going to be speaking about something that all of us should relate to. But before I do that, can everyone just raise their hands for me? Raise their hands and stand up. Instagram or Twitter and guys go around the Baywatch and well girls do too 
Anyways, and then you're scrolling and then you see a person that you're like, oh wow, they're attracted. So then you just go on social media and you're like, yo, what's your name? You're in my class. You just slid into the DM. So that's what that means. Or surfacey relationships. I feel like in this generation, a lot of us have surfacey relationships where we can't go deep and intimate um, into what we're going through and we don't have people there that we can really speak to because we're so consumed by social media that we pretend to be someone that we're not and that's the way that we act in real life as well. My second point is that it is unhealthy and it actually has a cause on, on it's a cause for depression and in webmd.com it says, a study of more than 300 college students found heavier technology use as tied to greater risk of anxiety and depression. And depression is a big enough problem and we shouldn't be adding to that by being stuck on our cell phones and having our face glued to it at all times. Another thing that it affects is our sleep. And how many know that we need sleep? My gosh, how many of us are sleep deprived? Yes, most of you guys. So sleep.org says the blue light emitted by screens on, the screens on cell phones, computers, and tablets, and televisions restrain the production of melatonin, the hormone that controls your sleep, your sleep wake cycle, and cardi cardican, cardian Cir circadian rhythm. rhythm. Yeah, so guys, English is hard. Um, so that, and then number three that I want to speak about is that it is dangerous. It is actually addictive. Dopamine is released every single time that you get a tweet or a text or a like on one of your pictures. Dopamine is released and that is actually the same um, neurotransmitter that is released whenever you use drugs. So it is definitely addictive and it just keeps you wanting more. Another thing is that it is deadly and a lot of us have seen the texting and driving thing so I'm not going to push that enough but um, it is just very dangerous and deadly. So. Um, in conclusion, let's just be intentional about this gift that we've received. I'm not saying that technology is bad, but I'm saying that it is dangerous and we can keep it from um, affecting our next generations to come because it, it ruins relationships, it is unhealthy, and it is dangerous. Thank you, guys.